Looks like we're getting ready to do some work. I'm going to repair the wiring on the 2012 Tiguan tail light. I'm going to replace the connector, some of the terminals. I'm going to also replace the bulb holder where that terminal connects. Tools you're going to need. I'm using a small impact driver, 10 millimeter uh, nut driver, wire cutters, uh, T25 bit, Phillips head bit, crimper for the terminals. This is a, a special crimper. You see it's got very complicated jaws on it for crimping those small connectors. I also have my normal crimpers and wire strippers here. And that should be everything we need. Uh, there is also a trim tool uh, to access the bolts that hold in the tail light. So we'll start by using the trim tool to remove this cover here. This is what's covering the bolts that hold the tail light in place. Just get your tool in, pry it, pops right out. And you can see the two T25 torques there. And this cover is held in to the light with a tab there, a small tab there, and then fits into the light housing with these three tabs. Alright, so next thing we need to do is get ready to take the light assembly out. First thing we'll do is we'll open the storage compartment. We'll take that cover, set it aside using our 10 millimeter nut driver. We will inside above the jack there's a white 10 millimeter. You can see kind of where it's going. That is the latch that latches the front of the light. Turn it 90 degrees to the left and just leave it there. It'll hang there. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, T25 screws that hold the main light assembly in. Sorry for my hand there, guys. So here. Move them. Set them aside. Save them for later when reassembly occurs. Okay. So now the, uh, the light is ready to come out. see it slides right out. Okay, so here we're connected with the terminal we're going to be replacing which is here. The red tab slides back and unplug that. And this is my, this green wire is my temporary wire I was using just so I could drive the vehicle. Cut that off. You will not have that unless you have had this same experience and had to rewire the light to get you through. Um, so now what we have three wires going to this connector. As you can see I've got some tape on these wires the previous owner had put in a an aftermarket towing light system and it really butchered these wires up pretty good so well, we're gonna fix it up make it look better um, try and protect these wires from any further damage or corrosion. So. I'm we're going to replace the whole assembly. We're going to take, replace this entire connector uh, and the electrical terminals. Uh, we may just replace the one terminal if we can get the others out. So what we'll need is we'll need a pick tool. I didn't say that before, but a pick tool is going to help unlock this first catch. You can see here on the side there's a little snap flap that flat, snaps over. We're going to pop that out and fold that out of the way. You can see that is folded out of the way. You can see the electrical terminals inside. Um, there's a special tool for getting these electrical contacts out. Uh, it's a, you can buy it in a kit. It's about 70 bucks. Um, there, there are some one-offs made by one of the tool manufacturers that you can buy from places like, uh, um, you know, big online retailers and things and auto, auto parts stores. But, um, but I used a couple of wire staples that I've made into little L shapes. I had to file them down so they would fit. 
Uh, we're going to give it a shot. I haven't tried this particular method yet, but um, first things first, we'll slide this into the opening on the bottom of the connector. Sorry, my hands in the way. Push in. All right, that's one. And there's a second catch on top. Put that here. Push it in. And it should have released, and it did. You can see the connector came right out. So this is the gray and black. Gray and black was in terminal position, uh, looks like number three. Um, the black and yellow was in terminal two, and the brown was in terminal one. So Okay, so now I went ahead and the terminal that was mostly damaged is this, this one that was the ground on the brown wire. So I'm going to put a new terminal on. This is what the terminals look like when they come from your source. Now I used a, a whole, or I guess it was a wholesale electronic supplier called Mauser. Uh, these connectors are made by TE, or what was used to be Tyco Electronics or AMP. Uh, these are the MCP 1.5 variety of connector. Um, this is the female socket inside, and uh, it does take a special crimp device to crimp these. Um, the crimp device that I have purchased, I have purchased through Amazon.com. It's made by IWIS. Uh, it does uh, the special crimps that this tool that this uh, connector needs? You can see both sides. It's got this is where the conductor is crimped. Uh, this is the side that the insulation is crimped on. It is a ratcheting. You can hear it ratchet. Ratcheting crimper. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it set up, and then I'll show you how we crimp this. So hang okay, on. Okay, so we're back. I've got the uh, the crimper set up. You can see that the terminal is in the middle jaws there. Uh, my test crimp that I did with this tool that seemed like that was going to be the best. I'm going to take this stripped wire I'm going to slide it in from the insulation opening side slide it in until it stops and I'm going to crimp and it releases automatically and I have a perfect crimp. You can see that. Uh, that terminal is going to slide right in. It's going to fit just like it did in the factory um, and we'll be able to uh, move right along. So I'm going to repeat this on the other two. I'm also going to put some heat shrink tubing on these since they've been butchered up so badly uh, just to protect the, the wires and the insulation. Um, I've got the three terminals replaced now. Uh, here is my connector, the new one. I um, wanted to show you the old one. Um, as you can see, uh, there was some damage here on pin one. This one is the new one. It's nice and clean. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the conductors back in, snap them into place, uh, close the lock, locking tab that I showed you earlier, the plastic locking tab. Then we'll be able to move on to the light itself. So here we go. Um, first thing, we're going to uh, put pin one in place. That's the ground. That's the one that started this whole event. And I'll slide it in until it clicks. Clicked. Uh, next is going to be black and yellow in uh, terminal two. Uh, if you look, I can slide it in from the back. Push it till it clicks. Clicked. And then terminal three is the gray and black. Um, slide that one in again from the back. It goes in till it clicks. Now these these three are actually held in place now. And I'll snap this cover on. Snap. That is a completed repair on this end. Now, we've got to go to the light itself. We're going to actually replace the bulb holder. So I'm going to go over to the bench to work on that. Okay, everybody, here's the light. This is the tail light assembly out of that 2012 Tiguan. Um, we've got to remove um, first the gasket from the light holder or the bulb holder. And then we have four Phillips screws that need to come out. They're going to free the bolt holder from the light assembly. And yeah, don't mind that green wire there. That's a, that's a doctor's orders, you know. All right. Some of you may get that, some of you may not. Okay. 
here we have the old bulb holder. Um, this wire was actually fed through because the conductor had completely gone away, um, so it was soldered inside. That was a temporary fix so we could get an inspection. And uh, here are the bulbs. I have two bulbs that are inside there. So now this is a piece of trash. Trash can it goes. Now we're going to put in the uh, bulbs into the new bulb holder. One. Two. Okay, so that's in. Uh, bulbs are in. So this can be uh, put back onto the new the new bulb holder can be put onto the light. I'll start these by hand. I'm actually going to torque these down by hand as well. So I don't risk cracking anything or breaking any of this uh, fragile plastic made in Slovakia. Assembly is ready to go back on the car. Um, I'm going to put the gasket back on. Uh, you can see the gasket goes on like that. Has a little cutout for the uh, for the connector. Has the three tabs stick through it, and that's ready to go back on. Okay, so here we are. We've got the light assembly. We need to plug in the electrical connector. Uh, it plugs in with a nice snap. Snap. There's a red tab. You can see the red tab there. Push that in to lock it so that it doesn't come undone. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is this over here on this side. This is that uh, where that 10 millimeter uh, nut driver is on the other side. You can see it open and close. This is what locks the outer edge of the light to the body of the car. I'm going to turn it clockwise 90 degrees. Take out the nut driver. And then now get my assistant to hold the camera while I install the light. There it goes. It's in. Uh, now the last thing is to put in the T25 torques bits or screws into their grommets on the side. Starting them up by hand so I don't cross thread anything or damage anything. And I'll come behind on this with my impact. And just a little snug. And we are good to go. We'll just put this cover piece back on. And that repair is done. I forgot to show you the results. Okay, that is the parking lights and the signals flash. All is good. We're back 100% legal again and no more, uh, no more doctor's orders wiring there. Thanks. See y'all later.